Hello everyone, I'm Tom and I'm going to show you how to create your own Ethereum receiving address so that you can participate in the Spring token sale. Alright, to start with, we need an Ethereum receiving address because this is where Spring will send your new Spring coins to once you've purchased. Um, it has to be an Ethereum wallet that is ERC, that, must, that supports ERC20 um, and we've got to put the address in here. So to create an address, we'll head to myetherwallet.com. Um, this is an interface that um, speaks to the Ethereum blockchain. So you can create an address on there. It allows you to send um, the funds from your Ethereum address and it works with all ERC20 compatible tokens. Um, so to create a new wallet, we're on the new wallet tab already. So we've got to enter a password, make sure it's a secure one that no one will guess and click create a new wallet. Um, we first we download the key store file. Um, this is a, should be just here, so this one just downloaded. Um, this is an encrypted version of your private key and it's encrypted using your password that you just entered on the previous step. Um, so do not lose it, do not share it and make sure you make a backup. Um, Preferably not on on a on a USB or something that's not connected to a computer that is connected to the internet. All right, let's continue. So here is your private key. Basically, this is the unencrypted version of your key store file we had down here. Um, I suggest to print a paper wallet. This is what a paper wallet looks like. It's got your I won't print it now, but it's got your address and your private key. Um, make sure no one sees this. If anyone types this out, then they have direct access to your account and can send your funds anywhere. All right, so then if you wish, you can save your private key. I recommend against it. The private key is stored in an encrypted way in your key store file. So it's usually safer to just save your key store file. Um, now let's continue on and we're going to unlock our wallet so we can see our address so we'll you can do this via the key store file which so we just need to select the wallet file which is this one in order to upload that so let's do that uh, which is 888 888 there we go file is selected now you have to enter the password there we go so wallet is successfully decrypted uh, and here is our address. So now this address is the address where we're going to put into the Ethereum receiving address. So that's where our shipping is going to go. Check that it starts with OX, it should end, make sure that all the numbers and letters are the same as what we're seeing here. So it ends in 5188A, 5188A, perfect. So you can save changes there. You've successfully updated your profile. Um, one last thing to note is once the Ethereum is being transferred, you can actually check if this address is receiving um, shipping coins um, by going to etherscan.com, uh, then slash address, then slash your address. So hit enter there and we'll see what's going on in there. And currently it's got zero ETH, um, it's worth nothing and it's had no transactions. But if we were, if the spring had been transacted, then there would be a transaction here um, and there would be another tab up here that would say token transfers. Clicking on that, you'll be able to see how many spring coins have been transferred to your wallet. All right, that's about sums it up. I um, hope you found this informative. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and good luck purchasing in the spring token sale. Thanks. Bye. Spring. It pays to shop smart.